morning. I have got a story today that we are going to eat and it's called Barry the Fish with Fingers. And it's by Sue Hendra. Now I love this story because in this story, well, it's got lots of unexpected twists and turns. The biggest thing being a fish with fingers. <gasps> Let's have a look. the puffer fish could blow the best bubbles. Other fish would come from miles around to see his bubble blowing show. Big bubbles, small bubbles, round bubbles, square bubbles. They had never seen anything quite so amazing until they caught sight of Barry. Barry was no ordinary fish. Barry was a fish with fingers. Have you ever seen a fish with fingers? The only fish fingers I've ever seen are the ones that come out the freezer and go in my oven. Hmm. Suddenly, everyone wanted to find out more about the amazing fish with fingers. What can you do, your fingers do, Barry? They asked. Tell us, tell us. Well, said Barry, fingers mean Finger painting, knitting, cutting, finger puppets, and best of all, fingers mean, what do you think they mean? They mean pickling. Do you think the fish enjoy tickling, being pickled? I think they might look at those big smiles. That looks like lots of fun. The fish had never had so much fun. Come on, Puffy, join in, they would say. But Puffy didn't want to join in. He was feeling sad. Can you show me a sad face? Nobody wants to see my bubble blowing show, he sighed. I hate Barry's fingers. They're stupid. So while Puffy sulked on his own, Barry and the other fish had a whale of a time chasing through the sea caves, in and out of seashells and through the seaweed. But then, all of a sudden, Barry stopped dead in his tracks. He heard a loud splash and a rumbling noise. And then the sea got darker and a big shadow covered the ocean. Oh no, cried Barry. cried the fish. A huge crate had fallen into the water and it was going to squash Puffy. Quick, Barry, do something, cried the fish. <gasps> look, look where Puffy is. Do you think he's seen it? What's going to happen next? And that was when Barry did something truly amazing. Oh pointed. Look out, Puffy! He shouted. And with a loud crash, the crate hit the seabed. Was it too late? Had poor Puffy been squashed? What do you think? Had it been squashed? <gasps> Phew! No, he hadn't. Thank you, Barry, said Puffy. You saved my life. I'm sorry for being a grumpy spoil sport. Can we play tickle chase? But Barry had a better idea. Let's party! Take it away, Puffy, he cried. So Barry played the piano and Puffy blew the trumpet and everyone had the best time ever. Oh, they look like they're having a good party. Look at those smiles. Oh, we've got cutting, de cut out decorations, dancing, laughing, more bubbles from Puffy. Wow. I like that story. Did you enjoy it? 